video, we're going to discuss about CPU GPU interaction, specifically the data transfer. So obviously we would need to transfer the data from CPU to GPU and from GPU to CPU to get our work done. That happens through this PCI Express bus. So basically DRAM from the CPU and global memory from the GPU interacts with each other and the transfer the data through this PCI bus. CPU and its associated GPU have a different physical memory, which is global memory in the, in for GPU and DRAM for CPU. A variable in CPU memory cannot be accessed directly in a GPU kernel. A programmer needs to maintain separate copies of the variables. This is the typical CUDA program workflow. First, one would load the data into the CPU memory. This can be done with whatever way you can read the file or you can simply do CUDA, you, you can simply do the malloc. And then you copy the data from CPU to GPU. You can use CUDA malloc and CUDA mem copy for that. Not that you can directly copy the data from CPU to GPU. First, you'll have to allocate some memory on GPU. You can do that with CUDA malloc using this kind of syntax. And then you have, you can transfer the data from CPU to GPU using CUDA mem copy where D underscore data is the target location and the second argument is the source location. And then you have to specify CUDA mem copy host to device to specify that the data is transferred from host to device. And then you can execute the kernel with whatever launch parameters you want on this uh, data, which you copied from CPU to GPU. Now you are, once the kernel is executed, you are free to run CUDA mem copy again to transfer the data from GPU to CPU, not that the first argument is a target location. And then we are also specifying CUDA mem copy device to host, uh, which is saying that we are transferring data from device, which is GPU to host, which is CPU. And then we can use these results on CPU in whatever way we want. There is something, some another memory called pin memory on maintained by CUDA. So CUDA allows direct access to the pinned host memory from device. It also allows us to make host memory pin. So pin mem, you can think of pin memory as some shared memory between CPU and GPU. Internally, it's not exactly shared memory. Rather, CUDA is calling CUDA mem copy and all that stuff, which we were doing manually, automatically, whenever there, there is a variation in the data. But you don't really need to worry about that when you are using uh, CUDA as a programmer. You just, uh, you just need to call you just need to initialize data using like this on CPU and then you just need to pass the data into CUDA host alloc and tell the CUDA to allocate this much size of data as a pin memory. Now, once you do that, the star data would be accessible from both CPU and GPU. You can directly access it as if it has been a normal variable on CPU or it has been a normal variable on GPU. But please remember that one would face a performance penalty if one allocates a lot of data using CUDA host alloc. This memory is really limited. Thanks a lot.